for me to share how I edit my photos and videos using just my phone. So I actually have two phones. I own an Android, this is the Samsung Note 9, and I also have an iPhone XS. Comment down below and let me know what phone do you own? Do you have an Android or do you have an iPhone? I'd love to know. Today I'm going to be diving in deep and talking about my top 7 favorite apps to use to edit my photos and videos for stories and for Instagram. Hey guys, it's Ali here in the present editing the video. So I would love if you watch until the very end of this video to see all 4 examples that I show you. Be sure to click and watch back to anything that you're confused about and leave me any comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to smash that like button so I know to make more videos like this. So, without further ado, let's get started. The best tool to capture photos is often the one just on your phone, and the best way to upgrade these phone photos is by using a tripod. This is a Manfrotto tripod with a swivel head. Here's my iPhone pop that on there and then there's just a little screw in the front. You have this nice curved angle so you can see yourself. Say hello! <laughs> Snap it out, open it like this, and it'll become a tripod. Plus this rig was under $25, so it's not too expensive. Am I the only one who likes to use Snapchat just for the filters? Because, oh, they're so much cuter than the ones on Instagram. <laughs> I'll link this down below for you guys. First off, I thought it'd be fun to show you guys what's on my iPhone XS. So I have so many different phone apps that I love to use religiously for work, for personal use. I'm going through my phone right now and seeing what are some of my most used phone apps to edit photos and videos. The first app I want to talk about is Snapseed. So this is owned by Google and they have so many great tools to adjust the colors, um, the curves, all of your basic settings like your brightness, your contrast, and one of my favorite tools in here is the ambiance tool. Sometimes you want to add more detail back into an image because it looks too flat and you want to make it pop. In terms of extreme photoshopping and editing out imperfections, I love Facetune. I know this isn't something new or revolutionary, but people just seem to really love retouched images with smooth flawless skin or beautiful hair. I also love color story because of the filters. If you want to add in that true pink tone, color story has so many light and bright filters. If you're really into videos and you want to upgrade your stories, definitely check out Snow. They have so many different filters that make you look super cute. You can even add in makeup which is very unique to Snow so you can add in false lashes, change your lip color, blush color. I feel like stories are a great way to capture the moment and show more of your personality, but stories shouldn't take forever to edit. I know nowadays there are so many different apps, and one of my favorites is InShot. InShot is great because it's just like a drag and drop type of app, and you can edit videos, um, change the timeline, speed up clips, you can cut them, you can add in text or stickers and music. Having to transfer everything to your laptop and editing the traditional way on Final Cut or Adobe. So that is how I customize my story videos. VUE or VU is another great story app. For instance, you can set a project to 15 seconds long and say, I want four different video clips. This is a really great way to create a montage of say a travel experience or you know a day in the life and capture it all in just 15 seconds. So again, another great drag and drop type of story app that's completely free and they have a ton of really cool like Visco-esque filters. One of the most underrated apps that I personally love to use is Screen Capture. Just like you could on your MacBook or on your laptop, you could take a screenshot. You can screen record your phone. It's so fast and simple. Simply swipe up and tap record and it'll count down 3, 2, 1 and it'll record the entire phone screen without having to plug it into anything else. It's so simple and I feel like no one really talks about it. If you're obsessed with the way your feed looks and you care about the aesthetic and you want your images to look nice and orderly, I highly recommend using Unum. This is how I like to organize all of my photos so I make sure that they all look cohesive. 
Comment down below and let me know what is on your current lock screen. Mine is a picture of Bella, and if you guys want a picture of Bella as well, I will link it to you guys down below in the description box. Hi guys, so now we're sitting down in my comfy big couch and we're going to be editing a photo with Bella's help. She's just here for moral support. Bella, can you edit this photo for me? When you go on vacation, you've taken all of these super cute photos and then you look back and you're like, oh my gosh, there's a person photobombing my photos and it just ruins the whole picture. Don't worry, Photoshop is on your side. So if you zoom in straight, there's a big can of soda in the back. There's this like fast food also in the back. And look, the can's gone. Beautiful. And then just zoom in, continue tapping over the areas that you want to get rid of. Um, okay, this bag is kind of challenging because it's really close to Scott's leg. But look, so easy. Okay, I think that looks good enough compared to the before and after. And then all I have to do now is add on a filter. I really love the A01 like I mentioned before. editing this photo of me in front of the Golden Gate Bridge. So I really love the image, however, it's a bit underexposed. So we're going to bring it into Snapseed to edit this picture. So the first thing, I'll go to the tools and then immediately I will use the curves and brighten up the image by bringing up the top third of the curve. So by bringing it up, sometimes I like to bring up the bottom half. That's how you bring up the shadows as well on the first third of the curve. Uh, you definitely don't want to overexpose your image because you'll lose a lot of details. So here you can also turn on HDR, but as you see, it's kind of too orange. If you have a yellow undertone like me and you're Asian, then you know the struggle of looking like an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> you don't want to look like that. So definitely bring down the filter strength and bring up the brightness and bring down the saturation just a bit. Next, I'm going to click on the selective tool just to bring back some of the clouds. So I'll bring it all the way down to structure. Here it sharpens the image. And as you can see, if you tap and hold, you can see the before and after. And you can see that there's way more clouds there. And then sometimes I will even change the white balance of the image because this one's a little bit more of a warm tone and I want the blues to look more blue. And then lastly, I'll go into grainy film, which is one of my favorites, I love A01 or I like A03, but for today, I think I'm feeling A03. So that's pretty much it. That's how I would edit this image. As you can see, if you just tap before and after, you can see how much brighter and lighter it looks and you can see the detail of the Golden Gate Bridge way better than before. I want to edit a food photo because I love uh, cute desserts and oh, I found the cutest little taiyaki ice cream. Okay, it wasn't little, it was pretty big. Let's bring it into color story and see what we can do. Open up the image, click continue. Um, first, I'm going to add a filter because I love bringing out the pink tones. Click on picnic and then my favorite has been lavender or velvet. Ooh, velvet looks really good. It definitely makes the red pop a lot more and it's not as dull looking. And with food, I feel like you definitely want it to look a little bit more saturated, which makes food look so much more appetizing. I'm like drooling thinking about this. Okay, I definitely need to eat lunch after this video. Bring down the highlights just a bit because it's a little bit bright. Um, a new tool that I've been really interested in is this color selection. So here you can highlight specific colors in the image, for instance, say red. If you want the red to be a different hue, say more on the red side, uh, you can definitely bring down the hue, bring up the saturation, here's something really extreme, and then here's something more dull. And then you can also bring up the luminance. It's really challenging to adjust like orange tones because sometimes it can look, uh, it can change your personal skin tone. So you just have to be really careful with that. After 
light is my favorite way to add grain or the dust effect to an image. I think the first one's my favorite, the second one not so much. Ooh, and then bring it down to say like 55. And then here you can also add in a light effect, like a light leak. Makes it look a lot more vintage. Ooh, I actually really like that one. Third app I'm going to bring this Taiyaki into is Fuji. So here you can actually process images that you've already taken. So click on that Taiyaki that you just added. Um, here you could change the date. So click develop. Ta-da! Here it is. You, I've been trying hard to keep my cool. But when you need, there's nothing that I can do. When you're walking in, I know it's true. I, it doesn't even matter how hard I try Cause when I hear your voice, my walls come down Boy, you are the only thing I want There must be a way I can make you see That if we fell in love, it would be so sweet But when it's you and me So that is pretty much how I edit all of my photos using just my phone. So if you guys want to share with me your photo edits on Instagram, be sure to use the hashtag FashionByAliEdit just so I can see it. Or if you need help, be sure to send me photos and DM me and maybe I'll pick out a few and edit and include it in some of my future videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at FashionByAli. We are so close to 80K and I would love to reach that milestone with you guys. Um, I love you guys all so, so much and I will see you next time.